you doing, guys? Hi. Today is Thursday, July 2nd. All day. All night. Second video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be everything that I got from a yard sale about two weeks ago. And there's a lot. So this is going to be a little bit of a long video. Get something to drink. Go maybe, pee. Yeah. Go take a leak. Maybe get a snack. Because it's going to be a little bit of a long video. But, uh... Probably two weeks, I think two, maybe three weeks ago. I hey, uh, it was the first time they asked me to work on a Saturday after the whole pandemic thing. So I took the five extra hours to have a little extra coin in my pocket. And on the way home, I always take the scenic route to uh, get home on Saturdays because I like to see if there's any yard sales. And lo and behold, yeah, it was funny. I was driving by. And I saw a yard sale across the street. And I was like, ah, they had two tables. Let me U-turn and go there. And when I went to go U-turn, the road that I U-turned had a yard sale. So I said, ah, I'll go there first. And then I found all this. I would have. I was at home. So, yeah. So um, I walked around. I didn't see anything really. And then when I went around the guy's driveway next to the garage... He had a bunch of electronics, nothing good. No, uh, he had some DVD players and some DVD uh, VHS players, but they were all like, you know, regular audio video, no HDMI or no nothing. So a lot of them didn't have remotes. So I was just like, eh. If he had a Laserdisc player, I would have grabbed it or, you know, a uh, VHS DVD combo with a HDMI port, I would have grabbed it. But uh, he had two boxes of movies and they both said a dollar each. So I started digging in. I saw a couple of good things. And uh, I started, you know, taking stuff out. Started looking at discs and looking at condition. I saw a lot of, you know, a couple of new things in there. The guy from the yard sale walked over to me and goes, Hey, $8, I'll give you both boxes. And I looked at both boxes. These was, weren't small boxes. No, these weren't small boxes. They were good sized boxes. And I'm like, 8 bucks for everything? He goes, yeah. He goes, you might find something good that you might like in there. And I'm like, uh, I don't know. I haven't I'm really like, checked it. You're thinking. So when, when I'm thinking to myself, the guy said eight bucks and there's so much in there. I'm like, I'm gonna try. I'm like, uh, I don't know. I'm like, you know, I don't know what the condition is. This and that. I'm like, how about five bucks? And he goes, all right, yeah, okay, we'll do five bucks. So I was just like, okay. I went into my wallet, gave him five bucks, and. I asked him after, I said, hey, uh, since I bought all of it, can you give me a hand uh, walking it down the road to my Jeep and help me throw it in the back? He goes, oh, sure. And he grabbed the heavier of the two this boxes. Was a, and a big box and then a medium-sized box. Yeah. So uh, he helped me walk it all the way back to the car, and I threw it in the car, and I got all this stuff. And I was, like, so excited. I'm laughing because I can picture it, and um, I know what was in the boxes. Yeah, so um, I messaged her, I messaged J2H, BBG, and Rick, and I'm like, I just struck um, yard sale gold. I'm like, wait until you see this stuff. He didn't tell me. He just walked in the door carrying this box, and he's like, hold on, there's more. And I'm like, you said you paid $5. He's like, yeah. I'm like, really? I'm like, so oh my God. what I have here, because we went through... It's taken three weeks before I filmed this because I was going to bump stuff on the shelf to get this done because there's a lot of it. And it's literally, I have no room on the shelf for it. It's, there's it's literally, almost going to hide Dobby. Yeah, it's literally two huge boxes in the middle of the floor. <laughs> so I wanted to go through all this. So me and, me, we, me and Marie went through everything. Mm -hmm. We opened it all up except for anything that was factory sealed. Checked all the discs. Decided what we wanted, mm -hmm. what we were selling, and anything that we were selling, we went through and looked up what it's worth. So we're going to show you everything that we have. And like All always, right. let's just dive right in and I'll show you. The first stuff I'm going to show you. Oh, and by the way, I didn't tell you all together. All together, I have 61 titles, 13 box sets for five bucks. That comes averaging out to 64 cents a title.
64 cents a title or 64 cents for one box set. It's pretty much 64 cents an item. So, 64 cents. If anybody remembers my old, old <laughs> uh, let go, I robbed a guy haul that I got everything for $2.51. <laughs> I this is, one. I got everything for 64, 64 cents for each thing. So that's what it comes out to. Mm -hmm. And I, five bucks. So I'm going to go through, like I said, everything that I got for myself that I'm keeping in the collection. First thing is Marie, wow. Marie wanted this more than I did. This is a two disc special edition of the treasure of Sierra Madre. With Humphrey Bogart. Yeah, with Humphrey Bogart. And it comes in a nice box slip. box slip. So, she wanted this. She thought it was cool. We'll see if it makes a shelf. Yeah, I'm not into westerns. And by looking at it, it doesn't really look like a western, but it looks a little bit not something I'm really going to like. So, I was just like, eh. But Marie wants to check it out. She's watched Casablanca. She's watched The African Queen. Mm -hmm. She likes Humphrey Bogart films. So she's like, I want to check it out. If I don't like it, it won't make the shelf. It, and it won't make the shelf. We'll put it with the other for sale stuff. I'm it like, gets okay. the box. So this is... It's the box of no return. Yeah, this is the first one that I wanted, that she wanted to keep. Oh. This is another one that she wanted to keep. Mm -hmm. And this is Jane Eyre. This is Jane Eyre with... Uh, Mia Wachowski, Michael Fassbender, and Jamie Bell. And it has Judy Dench. Yeah, that's why I want so, to see it. Yeah, I'm familiar with a that. love story. Hold on. I'm doing it. Wachowska. Yeah. I'm Mia do Wachowska. I'm doing it as horror. I, I got to calm it down to romance. Scene. Scene. <laughs> a love story of fiercely intelligence, and it is passionate, says... Somebody in small letters. Yeah. Karen something. May I? Karen Durbin. L. Yeah. From L Magazine. Focus features. Brand oh, new. Yeah. Factory, Factory sealed. sealed. So, Marie wanted this one. Jane gets the rub. Yeah. <laughs> so, I said, okay, we'll keep it. We'll throw it in the shelf. I read the synopsis on the back. This one, we both wanted to keep. Yeah. It looks like an interesting film. And I was intrigued on it. And this is T for Mussolini. This has, again, Cher, Cher Judy Dench, uh, Maggie Smith, and Lily Tomlin. So. Joan Pillowright. Yeah, her too. I couldn't pronounce it, so I skipped right over that name. Life is Beautiful meets L. Uh, Life is Beautiful meets Enchanted April with Cher on the side. But, yeah, like I said, tea with Mussolini. Tea with Mussolini. So I decided. We're we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna keep it. Check it out. This movie I know they came out with the 4K and that 20th Century Fox um, set. But again, I've I said before I'm not big into period pieces, so I've never seen this film. I've pretty much stayed away from it. But for 64 cents. We're going to check it out. Yeah, we're going to check it out and see what it's about. Marie wanted to check it out. Me, I would have totally passed we'll on it. We'll see if it makes a shelf. But, and like I said, it's a winner of seven Academy Awards, so it can't be that bad, including Best Picture. Mm. And it is Lawrence of Arabia. We'll check it out, see if we enjoy it. If we enjoy it, we'll upgrade it. But for right now, I'm not holding a lot of high hopes on this because, like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of that style of movie. What do we got on the back here? One of the most critically acclaimed and beloved films of all time. Come on now. Gotta yeah. check it out. Yeah. Have to check it out. Do we? Ooh. Yeah, it's got some heft. It's, it's, a, it's a, an old DVD case. It's an oldie. Next one. Oh. Marie wanted this one. Yeah. It looked intriguing. And it is The Crown Prince. It is a mini series. Yeah. This is a two-disc miniseries. Nobody I recognize in the cast. It's a no. British, a British film. Uh, the true story of the royal rebel and his tragic love. I'll check it out. We'll but, see if it makes the shelf. Yeah, check it out. If it don't make the shelf, it'll go up for sale. 
It almost went down. Yeah, almost went down. Next one, Marie was interested oh, in. Oh, yeah. This one's brand new factory sealed, and it is Anastasia, the mystery of Anna. Again, never seen it, but. She gets the rub. Okay, that's enough. Yeah, enough rubbing for her. <laughs> but Marie wanted to check it out. Yeah. Her mystery lives on. Yeah. Looks cool. Yeah. Put out by Mill Creek. It's a Mill Creek release, so check it out. It's probably a newer Mill Creek release because it has a digital with it. Mm. Probably it's uh, for their movie spree. I don't know when they released this. So, check it out. Yeah, it's from their movie spree. So, it's one of their uh, newer release. So, like I said, we'll check it out. It's probably Wait. something that that, uh, that guy or his wife bought recently and they just never watched it. Ready for this title? Yeah, this one I've passed on it. I've passed on it all the way down to the dollar twenty four glitch sale that Dollar General had, and they had it on Blu ray, and I passed on it because again, it wasn't didn't look like something that intrigued me. Well, it came in the bulk call for sixty four cents. cents. So, <laughs> for that price, we're gonna check it out, and it is it's a mad, 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 mad world. Yes. Again, they're very of, angry. Yeah, a lot of people talk about this film. I've never seen it. I've never really been intrigued about it. A wonderful, crazy, and colorful chase comedy. Again. That's mad? Yeah, that's mad. I'm not a comedy guy. No. So We'll see if it makes a shelf. Yeah, we'll check it out. See what it's all about. If anybody's seen any of these so far, or any of this stuff, because I'll tell you right now, 95% of this stuff I've never seen. So if you've seen any of this stuff, you know... Leave a comment down below. Let us know if any of this stuff is good. Some of the people are probably watching this right now and writing down the titles because they probably <coughs> never heard of them. Yeah. This one, I love this film. Oh, this, this is, is a, one for him. Yeah, this is one I said we had to keep. I love this film. It's a great film. I haven't seen it. And it is uh, Alfred Hitchcock's 39 Steps. I love this movie. Can't they just round it up to 40? Yeah, it's a great, no. great film. This is like an old... Like grocery store release, the man who uh, the man who put the man in romance. Okay. But I really really like this film. It's a mystery theater slash romance kind of film, but I always enjoyed it. If you're an Alfred Hitchcock fan, I would say highly check this one out. If I'm correct, this has a Criterion release, so you know one day I might upgrade it. I still haven't, so. Happy to have this one in the collection. This one, uh, I have, one he, yeah, yeah, I wanted it. Uh, I have this on VHS in the collection, and now I finally have the DVD, so the VHS is coming out, and it is The Music Man. I haven't seen it. I love musicals, so I'm super, super excited to have this. Sheer Entertainment, Hollywood, Magic, uh, Hollywood's show magic at its best. So, yeah. really, really happy for that. Like I said, I love musicals. Musicals are my jam. Mm -hmm. I love horror. I love everything. But, man, I love musicals. That's quite a range from yeah. horror to musicals. Oh, yeah. And I like some crazy horror. Next one. Yes, he does. I've seen this film. And I think I saw it on cable, but I've never owned it in my collection. I, think I haven't I, seen it either. I think I almost bought it on VHS a long time ago. And this has pretty much an all-star cast in it. And it is I Love You to Death. And this is you, brand new factory sealed. So really happy for this one. This one has uh, Kevin Klein, River Phoenix, Tracy Allman, Joan uh, Plowright. William Hurt and Keanu Reeves. With a cast like wow. that, you have to have to own this. Like I said, I've seen this movie so much. If I remember right, he is uh, works at a pizza place. Chris uh, Kevin Klein, and he's pretty much a womanizer. And Tracy Ullman is his wife, and she's trying to pretty Who? much Tracy Ullman. Who is she? His wife. Okay. And <laughs> she's pretty much trying to kill him. Because of him womanizing with pretty much everybody in the neighborhood. But it's a really, really fun film. I really like this film. I'm interested. If I would say, I would say highly check it out. And if you find it cheap, 
Even if you don't find it super cheap, if you find it under ten bucks, I would say pick this up. Too. Or you so, can find it for sixty-four cents at a yard sale. Next movie, don't have this in my collection. I gotta get a a case for it because this DVD case has no plastic on it. So. And it has really nice artwork. Yeah, I like for the, the artwork. title and the artwork alone. It looks great. Yeah, I haven't. I've seen this movie a long time ago. I haven't seen it in forever. This has Matthew Broderick, Denzel Washington, and Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman and, and Denzel are Oh, uh, yeah. Friends. And that's Glory. Yeah. Again, I haven't seen this movie in forever. But, like I said, to finally check it out. Now I can check it out because yeah. I haven't seen it. So, happy to have that one. This is a really nice uh, Civil War film from back, back in the day. Yeah, it looks but, classic. Yeah. Two Thumbs Up by Siskel and Ebert. Maybe Joe and Marie can give it two thumbs up. Yeah, probably. Next one. This one. I've seen the remake. I've never seen the original film. So, finally have the original film. And this is The Manchurian Candidate. This is a special edition DVD release of it. This has uh, Frank Sinatra, Janet Lee, and uh, Lawrence Harvey. I don't know who Lawrence Harvey is. But he's probably that guy right there. A masterpiece of one of the best and brightest modern American films. The most poundingly suspenseful political trailer ever made. Yeah. Special like said, edition. Yeah. I've seen, like I said, I've seen the remake. I love that lion. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen the remake. i trying to remember who's in the remake. I don't know. I don't remember what it is. I don't remember who is the main character. Oh, leave a comment down yeah. below. Leave a comment down below if you know. I've see, I saw it so long ago. I have it in my collection in the M's, way over in that corner. But yeah, I I enjoyed the first one. I've never seen the second one, so well the original. You put the M's in the corner. Oh yeah. Oh look at that right there. You know who that is? <gasps> oh yes, she's familiar. But yeah, that's know. right on the back, right there on the bottom. That's Angela Lansbury from Murder She Wrote. Oh yes. So, oh yeah. That's pretty cool. I love. That is cool. I love Murder She Wrote. It's a great show. Mm -hmm. I would say check it out. But Angela Lansbury, great, great actress. Next one, I've never seen. Again, I've flown over this movie. This movie, people say it's so great and everything like that, but it does doesn't look like it'd be something I would enjoy. I haven't seen it either. But for sixty four cents, I'm gonna check it out before I sell it. Maybe I'll like it. I don't know. We'll see. But this is the 25th anniversary edition of Gandhi. The winner of eight Academy Awards. Oh, yeah. A remarkable experience. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. I've, like I said, I've never checked it out. I've heard so much of people saying how much they love it. But it's a movie that seems like back when I was a kid, a lot of people talked about it because that's when it came out. But nowadays, it's like I never hear anybody talk about this film. So I don't know if it's just no. something that over time, over generations, it just it doesn't hold up or what. But he looks scared. Yeah, but I'm back. like I said, we'll check it out and we'll see if it still holds up and it's still good. Mm -hmm. But next one, next one, they're coming out with a oh. a Blu-ray release of this, and. When yeah. I, the Blu-ray, it's funny that we found this, we're like, we're going to check it out, we're going to put it in the collection. When I looked this up online, this thing went for like 30 bucks because it was OOP, and then two days later, they announced a Blu-ray. I'm like, thanks. But it was going to go yeah. in the collection anyway. And this is uh, the MGM release of Hair. Yeah. I love the lion. Yeah. That's a lion. I've never seen this movie. It looks like. Pretty much like a... What? I've never seen it. It looks like a big hippie... I haven't seen it either. A hippie uh, style film. Dazzling. Breathtaking. Hair is for everyone. But... Okay. This is, um, like I said, two hours and one minute. Color, 1979. Oh, is this the unrated version? No. When I looked at it, it's the PG version. Oh. Wah, wah, wah. They have but, an unrated version, right? Uh, they have a rated R version of this film. Yeah. But this is not it. But, like I said, 
Marie wanted to check it out, yeah. see what it's all about. What it came, what it come with? Yeah, it came, it came with a little uh, little booklet inside. Yeah. Is it a um, flipper disc? Yeah, it's a flipper disc. It's a flipper disc. I hate flipper discs. It's got a couple scratches on it. Yeah, it's it has very very light scratches, but just I'm, enough to annoy a collector, really. Yeah, and it won't affect playback, but still, it, it's gonna annoy the hell out of me. <laughs> This movie, I've seen it. Marie hasn't. Marie wanted to keep it because of Madonna. And this is Avida with Madonna and Antonio Banderas. I Puss, like him pretty too. much Puss in Boots. It's Puss. Yeah. And Boots. But uh, Marie wanted to check this out. I told her it was pretty good. It's pretty much the, a biopic of uh, Ava Perone. That she was... Uh, Queen, or she was like the president of Spain or something like that. Mm -hmm. But like I said, Marie wanted to check it out. I said, Tola, you know, we'll keep it. Put it in the collection. Yeah, for if you don't like it. 64 cents. Oh. Exactly. 64 cents. <laughs> Next one. I kept this to put it in my collection. Oh. I already have this movie in my collection, but I just have a regular. I have the same release. It's a two disc special edition on DVD, but it's just a regular you know, DVD case. <laughs> crabs? Yeah, crabs. But, uh, I'm sorry. Lo uh, crabs or lobster. Uh, but, uh, lobster? Lobster. Okay. But um, I didn't have... I like this release inside the box. And it is Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. With Robert De Niro. Uh, Sergio Leone. I think Joe Pesci's in this as well. If I'm correct. I like Joe Pesci. I haven't seen that. Yeah, Joe Pesci's in this, Burt Young. But, uh... Yeah. This is a fantastic film. I really like it. And, like I said, I have it already in my collection. But this isn't a nice... Slip box. Yeah, like a slip box. So I decided... I wanted to keep this one. I like the slip box. It has nice artwork inside. Compared to the other ones. And it's uh, a trifold. So I wanted to keep this one. So I'm going to get rid of my other one. I'm putting this one in the collection. Until I upgrade it on Blu-ray. But for 64 cents, I, I got to swap them out. Yeah. Next one. Oh. This, this I was going to let it go. But Marie's like. I like this I, movie. I like this movie and I like this edition. She really liked it. You it have was, a signed copy. I know. The rare VHS. <laughs> if you know if you know what that is, you'll know what this is. Spoiler. But uh, I have this movie already on Blu-ray 3D. But Marie saw the box we the and we opened yeah, and we have the signed VHS. But when she opened it up, it opened up with a bunch of pictures and it's like a six fold thing with a bunch of discs it inside. It's beautiful, yeah. And she's like, I want this I want to keep this edition just for collecting. I'm like it looks Okay. Beautiful. So it is Titanic. And this is the special collector's edition in this nice box. It's a big hard yeah. thick box. It's a big hard Thick. Well, this isn't the hard, thick part. This is a nice, thick, hard box. Oh, yeah. But Marie wanted to keep it. Like I said, this box is mint. It's so nice. Oh, yeah. Bad. It's really nice. The all spine. Around. So Marie yeah. Marie wanted to keep it for collector, you know, collectors. Oh, okay. So just to have it in the collection. It's in great condition. Yeah, it's mint. Mm -hmm. So like I said... We're going to keep this DVD edition. We Like I said, we already have the 3D Blu-ray of it. But, you know, for collector purposes, we're going to keep this Why one. Why not? Yeah. It's Titanic. Titanic. Next one. <sighs> Marie wanted to check this out. Oh, yeah. I don't know I was, if this will make the shelf. I was mildly intrigued. This is a George uh, C. Scott film. Mm -hmm. And it is The Hindenburg. I know the story about The Hindenburg. Of pretty much when it crashed and uh, pretty much set ablaze because it, it had, um, what was it? Not It was supposed to have helium inside of it and they used nitrogen and it yes. pretty much just burst into flames. Ooh. 97 souls aboard the airship, but only 62 survived. This is probably a watch once if none of us like it. We'll yeah. Put it in the box of no return. Exactly. But still wanted to check it out for, like I said, 64 cents. We had to pick it up. Next one. I love 
uh, courtroom dramas. I love any yeah. kind of lawyer kind of things. I was always a fan of, you know, Criminal Minds, Law and Order, Law and Order SVU, CSI, any kind of crime and murder stuff I've always liked. So those style movies I really enjoy as well. And this is one I didn't have in my collection. He was interested in this and one. And this is The Verdict with Paul Newman. Oh. Don't know nothing about it, but I like Paul Newman. I like crime dramas. And I like courtroom dramas. Stirring, entertaining cinema and uh, impeccable cast. But I wanted to check it out. Like I said, looks intriguing. I might actually put this in tonight and watch it. I don't know. But it looks intriguing to me. It's my jam. Mm. Next one. We have the remake of this. Oh, yeah. With uh, Johnny Depp. We have it on Blu-ray. It was a good movie, too. Yeah. We both enjoyed it. Because, again, I like crime movies. And I like whodunit movies. And we didn't have this in the collection. So, when we saw it, we both like, yes, this is staying. Yep. And this is the widescreen edition of Agatha Christie's Murder on the Orient Express. Look at that artwork. Oh, yeah. Killer artwork. But we really wanted this. As you're holding it up, I'm noticing some special features on the back. Yeah. Put out by Paramount. Yep. I don't know what year this came out. This is an oldie. But mm. I'm really intrigued about it. Like I said, looks I can't see it. Yeah, looks interesting. Here's the back right there if you want to check it out. But... I said, Murder on the Orient Express. I really liked the one that they did yeah. two years ago, maybe three years ago. So I really wanted to check this one out. So I'm super excited for that one. Next one. I wanted to check this one out. I said, I've heard good things. It's always mm -hmm. kind of intrigued me. And this is a collector's edition of Gosford Park. I think I saw this as a kid on cable, but like I said, I wanted to check it out again, uh, revisit it, because I don't really remember it. I don't remember even if I liked it. I'll just visit it, because I haven't seen it. Yeah, but I decided I'm going to check that one out. Next one, I oh, have yeah. the remake. Yeah, I have it it's right there. Literally. I have okay. the remake of this with Tom Cruise, but I don't. I didn't have this movie. I never even knew this existed, actually. But uh, I wanted to check it out. And it is Operation Valkyrie. I like the other one, so I decided I want to check this one out. He turned against the Empire to save the world. It's pretty much about a Nazi uh, commander that he pretty much tries to infiltrate uh, Hitler's bunker to blow it up and kill him. And... Mm -hmm. Pretty much everything that goes on. I won't tell you what happens. But it's a really, really good movie. It's based on mm. true events. One yeah. man's heroic attempt to destroy the Third Reich. But, Interesting. Yeah. Definitely. Like I said, I liked um, the Tom Cruise one. Pretty much the, that Valkyrie is the code name for pretty much the mission that they were trying mm. to do to kill Hitler. But like I said... I like that one. I'm going to check this one out. Me and Marie were both intrigued about this yeah, one. Yeah, I haven't seen either of them. So it'll be neat, neat to watch them both. This one, I wanted to check out. No idea what this is. I Again, I like murder films. Yeah. And I haven't... I don't know if they were ever <laughs> released this on Blu-ray or anything like that. Because I can't find any other release of this. And it is William Hurt and Lee Marvin in Gorky Park. It's a uh, murder in Moscow from the international bestseller. And it's a... Uh, Kino! Yeah. It's a Kino Lava release. This is a 1983 film. Oh, wow. Uh, 128 minutes. I like Kinos because they write it all easy on the back for us to find it. But happy I, for that I one. I love that said. about Kino. Gorky Park. I... Was always intrigued about this. I always wanted to see it. But I was never allowed to. So happy for that one. And the last. He's got a bunch of stacks around him. Yeah. The last oh. regular case that I have. Let me slide these over. The last regular case. The last regular case I have. 
is I like I said earlier, if anybody heard what I was saying, because I've already been yapping a lot. I think they heard you. Uh I love Angela Lansbury. I love Murder She Wrote. And I saw this in the box. And I would have paid a buck for this, but for sixty four cents, I was really picking it up. And this is <laughs> Murder She Wrote, the four movie collection. I've seen the show, I've seen tons of episodes, I've never seen the movies. I think I've seen one of them, and I don't remember which one it is. Look at that, Universal Classics But this television. is, uh, the four movies are South by Southwest, A Story to Die For, The Last Man Free, and Celtic Riddle. I think The Last Man Free is the one that I've seen before, but I'm not 100%. Mm. Four Edge You Seat Mysteries. I've always liked it. Angel Lansbury reminds me of, well, let me phrase that. Monk reminds me of Murder, She Wrote. Because Monk and Murder, She Wrote are pretty much the same thing. Even how it's shot, that is pretty much somebody gets killed. Somebody's trying to solve it. And then when they solve it, they show like replays of how it happened as the person is pretty much uh, debunking it and... Find out who the killer is. And they're pretty much both shot the same way. And I love that about both shows. So, like I said, I'm Very excited really, really one. happy to have that yeah. one. And the last three things that I'm keeping for my collection are... A couple of bigger ones. Yeah, are box sets. The first one is uh, a National Geographic box set. And it's... The Best of Collection, Volume 3. Right there. I have one in my collection already. Or two. Two? No, I have one in my collection already. But I didn't have this one. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, the Best of Collection. Six disc uh, set. Nice box, yeah. Yeah, and this has Doomsday Prepper Season 1, Episodes 1 and 2. Wicked Tuna Season 1, Episodes 1 and 2. Border Wars Season 3, Episode 1 and 2. The World's Biggest Cave. And Taboo Season 8, Volume 1. Killer Shots Season 1, Episode 1. And Python Hunters mm. Season 2, Episode 1. And the last this has Unknown Universe... Season 3, episodes... Uh, known Universe. Known Universe. They know about it. Yeah, they know about it. There's nothing unknown about it. Season 3, episodes 1 and 3. World's I, Biggest Cave sounds interesting. Yeah. And I've seen a, a couple of, a couple episodes of Wicked Tuna. Yeah, I've seen a couple episodes of mm -hmm. Wicked Tuna. Because that's filmed right off the coast of Martha's Vineyard in uh, the part of the ocean that they call the canyons. That, that's where pretty much every, everybody goes uh, tuna fishing. So that looks good. Yeah. So I'm I'm really happy about it. Plus, everybody talks like us on that show. So it's, yep. it seems normal for us. It but, seems normal. Yeah. So happy for that one. And then the next one is... Uh, it's another best of collection from National Geographic. This is uh, volume five. This is an eight disc set. Mm-hmm. And the first one is uh, the Battle for Midway. That we own Midway. We haven't seen it, so we don't know anything nope. about that. Is it real? The Da Vinci Code. Next one is Oceans. In a black case. Yeah, in a black case. It's weird. The only one. How they did it with a black case with one of them. But on the side of the box. It just noted it. Not really saying anything. Yeah. About when you look at the front of the box, one of them is a black case. Mm -hmm. uh, Extreme Alaska. Denali National Park, dinos oh. uh, Dinosaurs Unearthed, and Egypt Eternal, The Quest for the Lost Tombs. Look at that artwork on the front. I oh, like yeah. It. The little bear. With the little bear on the front. But that's really cool. Like I said, really happy for that one. There's all of them right there. So I can get the glare out. Wait for it. Wait for it. Uh... Some of them are sealed. Yeah, some of them are, nope. are sealed. Only one of them is open out of all of them. Yeah. The, battle. the Battle for Midway. Every every other one is sealed, still in the set. They watched one and said, I'm done. 
And the last one that I'm super excited for. Yeah, this is the piece of resistance. He's this, happy about this one. Oh, uh, yeah. Because... He's me, been hunting this down ever since, you know, he used to come and visit me in my little apartment. He's like, oh, look, I found this in the flyer. It, it's for sale. And it was 75 bucks, and I was just like, mm -hmm. I don't want to spend 75 bucks. So he'd come over and he'd look at my flyers on the table. He's like, oh, it's still there. Yeah, and then uh, I looked online, and it was going for like $200 last year. And now, r right now, as this video is being filmed, <laughs> they have it They have it on Hamilton Book for, I think it's $134.99. But why? But why spend one hundred and thirty-four dollars and ninety-nine cents when I can get the whole thing for sixty-four cents? Yeah, sixty-four cents. And it is. You ready? Murder She Wrote: The Complete Collection with Angela Lansbury. With Angela Lansbury. This is the full box set. The whole thing. It's the in whole good enchilada. Condition. The whole kit and caboodle, as you can see right there. Yeah. This is. Let me read it. Got all the. Bottom. Writing on the bottom and bonus yeah. features. This is, uh, how many seasons? 12 seasons, mm -hmm. 264 episodes on 63 discs. And we checked them all. All the discs are there. Yeah, everything's there. Mm -hmm. It's, like I said, I've wanted this set for so long. And to find this yeah. for, this was the first thing I pulled out of the box. I saw it and it said a dollar. I pulled this and put it right on the floor, and I'm just so excited. I wanted to start screaming right there and start jumping for joy like a little kid. But I don't want the guy to know that he's selling something. I would have paid easy 50 bucks for this thing, but the guy had it in a box for a dollar mm -hmm. and then talked it down to 64 cents. So I was like, okay. Okay. That's a no-brainer. Yeah. So I picked this up. I was really, really happy for oh, it. Oh, yeah. This is his gem. So. He's waiting on that for a while. Oh, yeah. Happy for that one. So I love it when you say that. Yeah. That is everything that we're keeping. Now I'm going to show you everything that we're pretty much selling. All of this stuff, I'm going to put it up on uh, eBay. Mm -hmm. um, in the description down below, I'll leave a link to my eBay account. Where all of this stuff is going to be listed if you're interested in any of it. If you're not, that's fine. But do not go by the price that I have it on eBay. If you're a subscriber and you're interested in any of this, message me and say, Hey, I'm interested in this. What do you want for it? I'm a subscriber. And I'll give it to you for a way better deal than what I have it for on eBay. Yep. And I mean a way, be way, way better deal. Trust me. This is just going to fund his 3D collection or yeah. a buffer or something. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much to buy 3Ds. Yeah. But the first one I'm getting rid of is the English Patient. I used to have this on VHS. I never opened it. I haven't seen it. It sat on the shelf. I had no interest in it. I got it cheap at Ames when they were closed. And I picked it up and I was just like... I saw the trail for him. I was like, meh. It doesn't look my style. And still doesn't look like my style. So I'm all set with yeah, it. Yeah. We're good with it. We're going to let it go. Okay. This movie, I already have it in my collection. If I didn't, I would have kept it. But it is uh, Sherlock Holmes, Sir Arthur, Co Sir Arthur Co Conan Doyle. The Hound of Baskervilles. If you haven't noticed yet, this guy was into murder and mysteries. Yeah, this guy was really mm -hmm. into murder and mysteries. Hound of Baskervilles is a great book, great, great movie. Uh, this one has, uh, yeah, Baskel Rathbone. He's one of the best ones that played Sherlock Holmes. I think he was, he's actually the one who played Sherlock Holmes the longest in all the movies. So, like I said, he was really, really good. So, I would... Like I said, if I didn't have this in my collection, I would have kept it. But yeah. I don't need two copies. This, have no interest in it. It says Henry Fonda in it. And it is Drums Along the Mohawk. Not, it looks like a revolutionary yeah. war times. Probably even earlier than that. But by the hat, it looks like a Paul Revere style hat on the back. 
it's not my bag. I'm not interested in it. No, I'm all so, set. We're letting it go. Next one. This is brand new factory sealed. This looks good, but I'm like, will I ever watch it? Probably not. Yeah. Marie was was going to mm. keep this in the collection. And then she, I, I'm like, are you going to watch it anytime like, no. soon? And she goes, oh, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff on the shelves I want to watch. I'm like, Marie, if you're not going to watch it, I'm like, I have no interest in it. So she's like, eh. Let it go. Let it go. This is brand new factory sealed. And this is the Marlene. The rich. Yeah. Or you would probably say diet rich. I'm diet gonna rich? Go, I'm going to go with the rich. Yeah. And it's the... German? Yeah. yeah she's know. a German lady. Uh, Universal Hollywood Icons Collection. It has four films. Angel, Blonde Venus, Seven Sinners, and Desire. Look at that hair in Blonde Venus. Oh, yeah. Mm. But this is brand new. Factory sealed. Why are all the girls getting the rough? Uh, anyway. Well, because those are the ones that are still sealed. <laughs> but, like I said, we're going to let that one go. So, if you're interested, like I said, send me a message. The next one is an Errol, Fli uh, Errol film. Errol Flynn film. Can't talk. I don't know. Maybe because my mouth is dry because I've been talking so much. And Olivia de Havilland. Yeah. And this is They Die With Their Boots On. Had, I hope they were yeah. nice looking boots. Hopefully. A glorious wet western, absolutely irresistible. I saw, I read western, and that was it. I checked out. It gets I had, the boot. Yeah. I, <laughs> See what I did there? Yeah, I saw what you did there. It was pretty good, pretty good. But, <laughs> I'm uh, sorry. Yeah, I had no interest in this one. Next one. Another oh, one yeah. that I probably would have watched, but again, I have so much to watch that I'm just yeah. going to let it go. I'm like, this looks good, but I'm like, will I watch it? But it's, no. again... Murder mystery style, a combination of Indiana Jones and Agatha Christie. And it is The Mummy of Tutankhamen. Common. With the slipcover. But, mm -hmm. like I said, I have plenty to watch. It looks so. cool and interesting, but yeah. yeah, we have enough to watch. We Especially can go, let it go. when I was going through all this, I was so overwhelmed by how many titles. I'm just like. Yeah, I can't keep them all. Yeah, can't keep them all. Nope. Next one, I already have this in my collection. Oh, yes. And um, so I decided I don't need two copies. Literally, and I, this is the same copy. Yeah, I have the same release. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, Steven Spielberg's Schindler's List. This is the it. book style version that opens up and has some, you know, paperwork and all that stuff on the inside. But... I said, it's a really nice release. I already have this in my collection. I never upgraded to the 4K or anything like that. Because to me, I didn't need it. It's, the case is pretty nice, yeah, too. It's really nice. It's in great shape. But we're going to let it go. Mm -hmm. And then, because I don't need three copies, and this is brand new factory sealed, this is the 20th anniversary mm -hmm. limited edition of Schindler's List. Well, we'll take three copies of yeah. Titanic. Brand new. Or six copies of Day After Tomorrow. And don't even go there with Bambi. Yeah. But brand new factory sealed. Don't yeah. need it. Don't need another copy. That one's like mint. Yeah. And then the movie that I was talking about earlier that I have in my collection, but mine has a slip. And that is Tom Cruise's Valkyrie. Would you like me to give you the slip? No. Not really, but if you want to. There you go. Yeah. Mayan. I gave you the slip. For sale. Mine. For sale. For sale. Mayan. But... It was staring at me right there. Yeah, but I already have it in my collection. Don't need it. So this one's going to go. But again, fantastic movie. Mm -hmm. I highly recommend it if you've never seen it. Next one. Have no interest again. I'm kind of creeped out, honestly. Yeah. This is called yeah. Ecstasy. No, nothing about it. No. Uh, the stark naked truth of a woman's desire for love. Have no idea who any of these people are that are in it. Nope. But I said we're all set with that. Yeah, one. we're all set. If anybody's interested, ecstasy. again, message me about ecstasy. This one I was on the fence about that I keep on going back and forth. Oh. Yeah, I know. And this has again that lady Marlene Derich. Marine Derich. 
and I don't recognize anybody else, but this is witness for the prosecution. Mm. And, you know. It's a, a Kino! Yeah, another Kino Lava release. But again, it looks like a murder mystery style. This is from 1957, black and white. Black and white. Yeah. But, like I said, I was okay. on the fence about keeping this one. But I'm just going to let it go just because, again, I have so much to watch. So I can't watch it all. So I decided to share it with other people. Mm -hmm. Next one, because I'm not a fan of westerns, as I just said. So pretty much any movie that this guy is in, I don't buy. Sorry. I'm all sorry. But uh, this has Claire Trevor and John Wayne. Yeah, I know, it has John Wayne, but yeah. I'm not a John Wayne western guy. And that is Stagecoach. And I just have enough to watch. Yeah. So letting this one go. This is a two-disc special edition of it. Warner Brothers release. But mm -hmm. like I said, Stagecoach. Next this one. Next one, I am kicking myself in the butt for, you know, Joe, why didn't you tell me to watch this sooner? I literally watched this, like, I think this year or, like, the end of last year. I yeah, forget, end of last year. I love this movie. I I'm like... If, if we didn't have a copy, I would keep that so fast. But this movie, I love this movie. I've seen it plenty of times. I love it. I give it And five. I keep on telling Marie to watch it. I and she it. finally watched it. And this has Audrey Hepburn mm -hmm. and Rex Harrison in My Fair Lady. I loved it. Yeah. Fantastic, fantastic movie. I like watching them sing and dance. Yeah. If you've never seen it, I highly yes, recommend watching this. But this is a fantastic film. But again... We have the same copy, yeah. basically. I already have it in my collection, yeah. so I'll have to let it go. If you don't have it, yeah, yeah, uh, you should see it. Yeah. Next one is the widescreen edition of Good Night and Good Luck. Bye bye. Yeah. Know well, nothing about it. No. I read the back synopsis and I was like, meh. I'll pass. All day. Next one again. Pass all day. Not the biggest fan of. Older war movies. And this has Cary Grant and Douglas Fairbanks Jr. It's got an interesting title. Yeah, and it is Gunga Din. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I decided I was going to let that one go. There you go. But if anybody's interested, this I already have on Blu-ray in my collection. And I have the same edition. I've never seen this until I met him. And this is uh, The Exorcist. And this is the extended uh, director's cut. That pretty much has all the extra footage that was originally cut out of the film. But if you've never seen this, this is a fantastic movie. This movie will creep you to your It will haunt you. Oh, yeah. Great, great film. Yeah. And then this one, I have it in my collection. I never saw it. I remember it won awards when it came out. It's based mm -hmm. on a true story. And it is called... The King's Speech. Nope, I haven't seen it. And this has uh, Colin Firth in it and Halle Bonham Carter. And Colin Firth is pretty much... He's um, like a prince or a king or something like that. And he just has stage fright. That's what his biggest thing is. So he has to actually have... Mm -hmm. He's a king. I just figured it out by the name of the title. Whew, mind blown. But uh, it's pretty much that he can't public speak and he needs somebody to actually do his speeches for him. Eh. Okay. But, yeah, yeah, I decided didn't need two copies. And we're all set with that one. Yeah. This one, another George C. George C. Scott film. Mm -hmm. Saw this a long time ago. Really wasn't my bag. So I'm going to let it go. I haven't seen it. But and I'm it is Patton. Mm -hmm. Again, wasn't a fan of it. Wasn't my style. I know a lot of people love this movie, but I wasn't one of them. This one, this movie's supposed to actually have a box that goes over it, but it doesn't have the box. Nope. So, but it's still a nice release, and it is that same lady that I can't pronounce, Marie, uh, Marlene DeRich. De Rich, and it's five films by her. And it is Morocco, Blonde Venus, The Devil is a Woman, The uh, the Blame of New Orleans, and 
It's like gold, yellow on yeah. gold writing. And golden earrings. Five movies on this. But mm. here's the cover. Like I said, there's supposed to be a box that goes over this. That has all the has her name. It's pretty much the same artwork, but it has her name with the five titles. It's a set. Yeah. Is that gold writing on... No, it's black on yellow. But it's just... Black on yellow. Yeah. Black and yellow. Black okay. and yellow. But it's the mm -hmm. back right there if you want to pause it. But this is a... Uh, one. It's uh, pretty much uh, five movies on two discs, and they're f both flippers. Flipper trays. Yeah. So They're not stacked on each other. Yeah. They're trays. But that's that one. Uh, next one. This one. Never heard of this film. And we got all these, like, really good, really yeah. good deal on these. And this is Marilyn. Never heard of it. Mm -hmm. Anybody heard of it or watched it? Comment down below. Yep. Next one is a British Cinema Collection with eight films. And this has A Month by the Lake, An Ideal Husband, The Englishman Who Went Up the Hill But Came Down a Mountain, uh, Sweet Vengeance, uh, no, sorry, Sweet Revenge, Her Majestic Mrs. Brown, Restoration, My Life So Far, and Tom and Viv. Mm. But eight films. I got enough to watch, but yeah. eh, I was like, maybe, but now I'm all set. But here's the back right there of all yeah. the films and all the ratings for them. But again, wasn't really my bag. I'm not the biggest yeah. British guy. When it comes to British comedy or shows, there's only certain things I like. This is a brand new factory sealed. It's a this, girl. And it's a girl. It's a Silver Screens icon. And it's Betty Davis. Yeah. And it has Jezebel, Dark Victory, All This, and Heaven Too, and Old Acquaintance. Mm. Wow. It's that right there. Legend. And it is brand new factory sealed. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. We're next, all set with that one. Yeah. Next one. War movie. Never saw it, but again, I can't keep all of this. And it is Tora Tora Tora, The Attack on Pearl Harbor. Sounds interesting. Yeah. But, mm. Yeah. I just like I said, I have so much to watch. And it didn't grab me right away. Because like I said, I don't like to read the synopsis. I if, already read the history books. I know the attack on Pearl Harbor. Yeah, I'm, I'm but all set. I like if the artwork uh Speaks to me, I usually keep it. That looks pretty good, though. Yeah, the back looks pretty good. Yeah. But the front, eh. Yeah. Didn't jump at me when I first saw it. And I was like, eh, I'm going to let it go. I'm not the next two. Still the same lot. Yeah, still the same lot. You and still this with is, us? <laughs> this is uh, classic TV bloopers uncensored. Uh... And it just, it's pretty much bloopers of a bunch of TV shows. Some of these shows I've actually watched. Uh, the Beatles, Bob Hope, Bonanza, The Danny Thomas Show, Dick Van Tyke, uh, Dukes of Hazard, Get Smart, Happy Days, Laugh In, Lucy and Desi, MASH, LaVerne and Shirley, McHale's Navy, Red Skelton, Star Trek, The Tonight Show. Plus more and crazy commercials. But it's just the bloopers, and I'm like, am I really going to watch it? Yeah. No, but. I, I like the Laverne and Shirley and I Love Lucy and the uh, Happy Days. Yeah. A for the fans. Yep. And the next one is classic movie bloopers. Pretty much both of those I'm going to sell them as a lot. Mm -hmm. So if somebody wants TV, they get movies. This has uh, Abbott and Costello, Humphrey Bogart, Ronald Reagan, Errol Humphrey Flynn. Bogart, wait, we got to keep that. <laughs> no. No, we're all set. Uh, Gary Cooper, Bor Boris Karloff, James Stewart, uh, Lucille Ball, Bob Hope, Betty Davis, W.C. Fields, mm -hmm. Charlie Chan, and Spencer Tracy. So, mm -hmm. really happy for that one. This guy liked old characters, too. Yeah. He was an older guy. He was probably late 60s. Uh, still going. Yeah. This one, never heard of it. Wasn't the style period I like. This is a widescreen edition, special collector's edition of The Four Feathers with Keith, uh, Heath Ledger and Kate Hudson. Well, I'm all set with that one. Yeah. 
It's got some special features on the back. Yep, wasn't my bag, so we're letting it go. Next one, I have both of these movies, so I didn't need it. And this is the Steve McQueen collection, double feature with mm -hmm. Bullet and Papillon. Yeah, so. Papillon, Papillon. Yep, but that's that right there. I already have it, don't need it. Haven't seen it. This one is Garbo, Queen Christina. Okay. Yeah. Don't know nothing about it, but... We're all set with it. Yep, yeah, all set. Next one. This is good for people who are history buffs. Yeah. And this is JFK, the Lost Inaugural Gala. 64 cents. Yeah, 64 cents for it. Yep. Yeah. But super happy to have that one. But I'm letting it go. Next one. Jesus. Jesus. Literally. Literally, Jesus. Spoiler. And this is Jesus of Nazareth. This is a big box. It's a big one. Yeah, it's a fat one. But, <laughs> it's a fat one. Yeah. <laughs> but Jesus of Nazareth, I'm not into stuff like this, so I let it go. I'm all set with that one. Yeah. We have the Passion of the Christ. That's a great movie. Yeah. Next is... Uh, Oh. A movie I have on Blu-ray. We have this one, too. Yeah, a movie I have on Blu-ray. But again, fantastic movie with Natalie Wood. Right there. And it is West Side Story. Literally, right right above the camera. Yeah, literally right above the camera. But I love this movie. I can't speak, uh, you know, bad about this film. This movie is fantastic. I'll check it out one day. Oh, yeah. It is fantastic musical. There's a copy to somebody. This one... I probably would watch it once, but I probably wouldn't watch it again. But again, it's not something I'm going to rush to watch. And I have so much to watch, I'm just going to let it go. That guy? I almost let it go. Whoops. Yeah. And this is Shadows in Paradise, Hitler's Exiles in Hollywood. Oh, boy. But, oh, yeah. Oh. Letting that one go. And then the last single releases that I have. Getting down. Are all PBS documentaries. And this is uh, Sir Edmund Hillary, Everest and Beyond. Looks good, but will we watch it? Probably not. Probably not. I got tons of documentaries that I still haven't watched. And now I got a huge box set of Murder She Wrote I gotta dive into. <laughs> Next one is a, a Ken Burns um, documentary of Lewis and Clark, The Journey, the journey of the Corpse of Discovery. That's that one right there. Next one. I have 42. I know the story. Another legend. Yeah, another legend. Another film by Ken Burns. And it is Jackie Robinson. With the slipcover on this one. But I don't need it. I have tons to watch. We're good. And then the last one. Maria was on the fence with this one. Yeah. This is the complete first season of Victoria. But yeah. with the slip. Yeah. But gonna let that one go. And that is all the single release stuff I have. Well I'm afraid that anything that's in regular cases. Everything the left ones. everything left that I have here is box sets for sale. The first one is ah. the Betty Davis collection. It's a nice yeah. Big box. Thin cases. He's got a lot of Betty Davis. Yeah. Because she, she's got Betty Davis size. There you go. Yeah. But this has one, two, three, four, five films in it. They're all single releases. Mm -hmm. And it is uh, The Virgin Queen, All About Eve, uh, Phone Call from a Stranger, Sweet Charlotte, and the nanny. The nanny. The nanny. Mm. But, yeah. Uh, that's it. That's all of it right there. Here's the back. If you want to check it out. But, if anybody's interested in this, it'll be there you go. on eBay. The box is in pretty good condition. Yeah. On my store. Next one is, this is a 20 documentary programs on 6 DVDs. And it is World War One Hundredth Anniversary Collection, mm -hmm. and this is a yeah 
six DVDs, all on small thin case releases. This is, yeah, it's a Mill Creek release. Mm -hmm. But there's the front artwork. There's the back. And it is, it's pretty much two discs about each one that they're showing. Let me see, yeah. It's uh, two discs are for the war at the end of all wars. And then the next one is two discs of Warbirds over the trenches and then two discs of the Great War. And that's the three, like, main documentaries. But it's like, yeah, but it's all together 20 documentary programs about all of that. So, like I said, pretty cool. Pretty happy mm -hmm. for that one. That's a pretty cool thing. I'm a big World War II guy, not a big World War I guy. So... Like I said, I wasn't going to keep it and watch it because I have too much to watch. Mm -hmm. Next one is Brand New Factory Sealed. This is 60 Movies, the ultimate collector's edition of Hollywood cinema. Another lady on the front. Yeah, and this is Brand New Factory Sealed, as I said. I don't think we're going to read all 60 movies. No, I'm definitely not <laughs> reading all 60 movies. Nope. If you're interested, look online and see what it is. But there it is. There's all the movies if you want to pause it. Brand new factory sealed. Yeah. Brand new factory sealed. Gets the rub. But yeah. If anybody's interested in that, I'll be letting it go. Next one is an A and E show. And it is uh based on a bestseller. A year. A year in, in pro oh, I for, I didn't see the in. A year in province uh, nice A&E yeah nice A&E to this set but in a box yeah a nice little box but yeah anybody's interested in that again up for sale next thing I have a couple of these releases in my collection already that are tin sets but again I'm not keeping this just because it's in a tin set and it matches the other ones because again i don't need it we're not going to watch it yeah it's war War one let's give it to somebody that wants it and this is trenches battleground war war one this is the war of that ends all wars and this is a five disc collection in a nice tin but it's in pretty good shape yeah, yeah. it's in good shape it's in okay shape yeah for Something that you can't turkey $6 back. And yeah. Four. Wait. Sixty four cents. Sixty four cents. But yeah, super super happy. I'm falling asleep at the wheel. For that one, and the last thing I have. This is a good one. These, this is a good one. This is the. I don't even know how to pronounce it actually. Poirier. Yeah, it's the Poirier complete cases collection. This guy was definitely into murder mysteries. Yeah, this is. There's a lot on here, but this is the full mm -hmm. set. This thing is mint. The box is mint. Pretty much, yep. But again, it's British Murder Mysteries. Yep. It's in all in the original broadcast order with a ton and ton and ton of special features. Yep. But, uh. Yeah, this is a find. Yeah, 33 discs include all 13 series of the beloved mystery remastered and restored from the original uk broadcast order it's got a little oh. booklet in it and everything oh yeah this thing is chuck full of stuff but again we're all set yeah i'm i was never a fan of that guy i don't like his the way he talks i don't like his accent so i'm letting it go mm -hmm. but that's all the for sale stuff that's all of that stuff is mint scratch free all in great shape but I wait, have, there's more. I still have a couple of more. We told you it was a long one. That all have small scratches in me. Even if it has a small scratch. As a collector, we as a feel collector, comfortable. Yeah. That, uh, I, none of it's going to affect playback, but. Yeah, it'll play fine. I'm still going to mention it. So it's in the, in the good pile. As in, I'm going to, all the stuff that I just showed is very good, excellent. This is just good. 
And the first one is The War at War. This is... The World at War. Yeah, sorry. The World at War. This is an 11-disc set. Mm -hmm. It's a big, fat set. It's an A&E set. And, uh... All the plastic is just around the box. Yeah, but, but it's, it's open. It's opened. But, um, this is a big set. This, there was two discs out of 11 that had two little... Yeah, line scratches. And I was just like... Okay. I can't. I, I can't. Know. Just because of those two discs. Two out of the 11. All the rest of them were mint. So I had to, you know, I'm, I'm going to sell it as good. But I want to show that one separate. Next one. Same thing. Mm -hmm. And I already have this in my collection. And it's another Basil Rathbone. And this is a complete Sherlock Holmes collection. 14 films on 5 discs. I think this guy liked his uh, murder mysteries and stuff. Yeah. And this one, I think it was one of the discs that had scratches on it. But, yeah. again, like that they won't affect playback. But, still. Next one is more Basil Rathbone. And it's Sherlock Holmes in color. Exclusive 4 disc collector's edition. Includes 4 full length movies. In color and in black and white. Some so. collector will be happy to see that one, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's a thicker one. Almost box. set. But, again, I have a huge Sherlock Holmes box set. Oh. This, I have the steel book for it. And I don't need it. And it is King Kong, the widescreen edition. Again, small, tiny scratch. But, again, yeah. it's not mint. So, I guess in the other pile. Yeah. Next one, same thing. It's a three disc set, six and a half hours. It's called The Last Place on Earth. And it's pretty much a, a mini series about when Alaska was discovered. Mm -hmm. well, right there. Again, one of the discs has a small scratch. But again, I can't call it mint. Nope. Next one, this is um, something I have no idea about. This is uh, Epic Serial in 12 Chapters. Harry Carey. Yeah. And this one is called... The yeah. The Last of the Mohicans. And this is one of the old serials from back, back in the day. Yeah. But, again, not my bag. So, letting that one go. This I have a thin jewel case of. Yeah. And I love my jewel cases. And again, this looks like a grocery store style. Yeah. And this is... Uh, Ruthyard Kippen's Jungle Book Sabu. But if anybody's interested in it, let there me know. There you go. Next one, this pretty much has Columbo in it. And yeah. it is Murder by Death. Again, cover art didn't call my name, so I'm letting it go. Yeah. It's probably good because it's Columbo, but again, a lot that I'm keeping. Next one, I was looking for this movie forever, and I couldn't find it. And then I find one, and it had some scratches. Then, Movie and Music Man gives me a copy, Mint, that's the one in my collection. And then I find another copy with a small scratch in it. All within this year, and probably in the last three months. And it is Eight Men Out, again. Small scratch in it, so I can't call it mint. Nope. Next one is a double feature. I have both of these movies, and I think I have them both on Blu-ray. And it is Gettysburg and Gods and Generals. So, don't need this, because mm. I have them both. And, again, small scratch. And the last one, this is a four-movie box set. And this is another Steve McQueen collection with The Great Escape, uh, Junior Bonner, The Magnificent Seven Special Edition, and The Thomas Crown Affair. Mm -hmm. Bonner or Boner? I like Bonner. Yeah, I like Bonner too. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I'll hold it. But that's all the films right there. This is a nice box set right there. There's the, mm -hmm. the spine. 
But that is that box is like mint too. Yeah, everything's mint. There was three of the movies are mint. One of them had like two. I think it had two or three scratches, yeah. but they were light. But again, can't call it mint. Nope. But that is everything. That's it. That I got from this yard sale. Like five dollars. Five dollars. I got all of that, and the yeah. murder, the murder she wrote complete collection with the four movies. I would have paid mm -hmm. five. I would have paid fifty. Easy for that. Mm -hmm. But uh, I got everything else and so much more. But like I said, I was really, really surprised with everything I got. I was surprised. Very yeah. surprised. So I'm not going to elevator this. So I'm Please sorry. Please don't. We'll be here for another 12, 20 yeah. minutes. But if you like this video, hit the like button. Thanks. If you didn't like this video, it was long. I know, I understand. It was uh, we wordy. We to put it all in one but haul. But I wanted to put it all in one haul. I didn't want to split it up with stuff I'm keeping, stuff I'm getting rid of. Rather do it as one haul and hope that you used the bathroom or got some depends. Um, if you want to see more from us, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification I'm bell. Sorry. And we'll have <laughs> yep. more videos for, for you. If you want to leave a comment down below about any of the stuff that I showed, let us know because, like I said, 95% of this stuff i never seen. Do you know about it? Yeah. Uh, is there something you're interested in? Exactly. If um, you're interested in any of this stuff, message me down below or insert, uh, shoot me a message on Instagram. That'll be in the description down below. And, you know, we can wheel and deal. I'll give you a great price on all of this. The more you buy, the better deal I'll give you. But until next time, guys. Bye. Bye. That's a yard sale. Oh, yeah.